So we are out here fixing the run. Look at this wind is just torn these things up. I think I showed you in the last video, but so we're trying to fix them right now because yeah, we got a janky setup right now. It's all we had, it's all we still have, so we'll work on it as, as we go. That's just kind of a part of being off grid that's and homesteading. It's hard, it's not as easy as you know. We see it on TV sometimes. It's still hard, but when you don't have many funds, and when you're not a rich man, and I am rich in many ways, but when you're not a rich man, you're uh, you're just kind of adding to it as you go, one piece at a time, like Johnny Cash saying, right? But Norma's trying to, I don't know what she's doing over here, but we're trying to just figure something out. Look, it's all sagging, which it served its purpose, but and I should have known better, putting metal on this kind of material, having it rub up against, knowing the wind is, we have winds. And that's basically what destroyed it was the winds, but. So we're fixing it now. You need a what? A string or a tie or something to keep this up here so it's not just a big deep hole right here. Well, we gotta, we gotta turn things around first. We're gonna get better, yeah, better coverage anyway. All right, guys, well, this is our latest challenge, my driveway, my U-joints. As you can see there, let me get out of, I'm making a shadow here, but look at these things. I mean, they're, I can't believe they lasted that long. So I'm trying to melt this stuff because factory, it comes, uh, they inject something into it. So it's not, there's no clips. But yeah, this is where we're at. So I'm just trying to, melt this little stuff out here with a torch and get them out so I'll show you progress hello all right so it's been a long week fixing the truck just fixed well for now we've got other things that I look at because it didn't get rid of the clanking sound when I'm uh, it seemed today when I drove it it wasn't as bad but yeah I don't know what else that is maybe CB joints I don't know I'm, I'm a rookie at this shit so anyway it's been a long week we've got the truck fixed I broke I've got a story for this I guess I'll tell it, I'll tell it. so we didn't have a truck for a while and the first time I bought U-joints, they were the wrong ones. They didn't fit. So I called my neighbor, the, which I just barely met, thank God, at the grocery store. And he's one of my neighbors. There's not many. I think there's like four here or three other people out here. Anyway, I called him. He graciously accepted and took me, to, took me into town to get some new parts. So I met him. We got to talk. Very interesting person. And thank you both, yes. JB and Ruth. Uh, Definitely appreciate they, you. Yes, they took us in, took me into town, went and got parts, got the right parts, got the right U joints to fit. Once I figured out those other ones did, weren't going to work, uh, but it did take me like I don't know a good two days to get those uh, old U joints out and. Uh, Anyway, they took me to town early, it was pretty early in the morning, it was like 9, and uh, got back, put the new ones in, or tried to put the new ones in, put them in wrong, so I screwed one up, so once it was in, I had to pound it out, and yeah, I screwed it up. So I had to call him again, and ask him if he could take me to the, to the parts store again. He did take me to the parts store. Very grateful. Yes, very grateful of both of you. Thank you yes. very much. Uh, and I'm glad that I know, you know, getting to know a neighbor now. Right. We've we'll actually met a neighbor and we're actually talking. And <clears throat> because he is, you know, he's been here for, like, I think, three, three and a half years. So he knows a little bit. The funny thing is, is he didn't know where to go get water for free. Or it was like 35 cents. We have to pay like 35 for cents for 100 gallons. gallons. And I think he had less than that. 
they were going to like a dispenser, water dispenser. There's a water dispenser in town, but you have to pay like 40 cents a gallon. If you go to the municipal center, it's 35 uh, cents for it's 30, 100 gallons. Yeah, 35 cents for 100 gallons. Norm is in the back talking if you didn't know. Yeah. So I showed him where to go get water. What's funny is we went on a day, I think we went on Saturday. Is it Saturday or Friday? Yes. We went on Friday and they're closed on Friday. For some reason, government buildings close on Friday again. Since when was that that they started doing I'm that? I'm not sure when they started doing that. I think it was when we had the recession or whatever, 2008. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, so I, I had to call police dispatch and they're like, well, send somebody out. I'm like, never mind. We'll just go pay for the water today. But they didn't know about it. They didn't, nobody told them about it. So they now know, which I'm glad. I hope yes. they, I hope that helped they can them. Use it. Yeah. And I paid them a little bit for, you know, going to town for gas, for time. Uh, yeah, the repairs are becoming very costly. Yeah. Because now our fridge doesn't work. Yeah, our, now our fridge doesn't work. That's another story. But no, it's all part of the story. So yeah. the other, I think it was last week, Norma called me when I was in town picking up supplies. She said the air conditioner isn't working or nothing's working anymore, which we got it back working. It was a plug. It was the, uh, out, or the thing that plugs in. I don't know what it's called exactly. The shore power connection. The shore power connection was all messy. I went in there. Because this is an old trailer, so I went in there and fixed it but what had happened was we were using our portable fridge which is just a little stackle fridge so stackle yeah i'm not sponsoring you but i am going to say your fridge only worked for about a year not even a year yeah and i know these things aren't made to work all the time, all the time right, but. but and i think we might have a warranty up we've still got to look into that yeah. but yeah it just stopped working so i'm like oh shit and i was already planning on fixing the other thing Thank so God it was just so that the a fix, work, quick right? fix. Yeah. So we got that working, but now our other fridge doesn't work, which we used as like a deep freeze. Right. I think I'm just going to buy a used deep freezer and plug it in, maybe build a housing for it so it can stay outside. I don't know. We're figuring it out. Yeah. <laughs> but it seems to be <laughs> everything is just breaking. Right. I just realized the cover on my AC, which is, uh, and it's a heater too. Yeah. Um, which we're gonna have to fix. That's gone, the top of it's gone. UV rays are terrible out here in uh, Arizona. Yeah. And they'll just destroy everything. Yeah. We did fix, we're gonna have to fix it better, but, but we did fix the uh, the chicken run, the cover of the chicken run. I mean, for the most part. It's, now it's kind of, but it's that one middle one that we wanted to leave in there. Anyway. So thank you guys for watching. Yes. I just wanted to give you an update on where we're at. Yeah. If you'd like to donate, there are going to be links down below uh, in the description. And uh, we have a wish list if you would like to help us. Thank you. You don't have to. Right. We're not begging. Nope. But we're asking. I mean, we're I at least got to put it out there. Right. But most importantly, watch it all the way through. Watch our videos all the way through. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe. That's what's most important. But this last, yeah, a couple of weeks has been a wild ride. So yeah. just letting you know, and we're coming up on a year being out here. So yep. that's it's pretty cool. Uh, we're not planning on going anywhere. Nope. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. I appreciate it very much. Just to kind of give you a little bit of, you know, insight or, you know, a, lot, a little bit of our lives right. and what we go through. I mean, we go through a lot more, but, yeah. you know got to keep something sacred right but anyway thank you all for watching again and uh yeah have a great day we'll see you next time bye everybody <laughs>